welcome to another episode of this vlog. We haven't been here for quite a while, which I'm sure the dates somewhere down there are saying. Um, I've just literally been too busy and we've been turning 30, so we've been partying quite a lot. Um, but I don't think I showed you this last time, now the extension's been built, so we've got this like full structure and all that sort of stuff. But if you come in, um, it, it's turned out a little bit smaller than what we hoped. Um, various reasons, I'm sure Alicia might be able to explain that on a later vlog, but I really like the little skylight we've got going on. And then obviously it'll be an open plan, so we'll be able to go through here into the other bit of the kitchen and into the lounge bit. Um, but yes, yeah, so it should look quite nice. But let me take you around the front and I'll, I'll, show, you, uh, I'll show you the rest of the house because the loft is looking really good. But I don't know if it's worth explaining this or not, but I think it's actually quite interesting if you're, uh, I don't know, not experiencing refurb and stuff like that. But if you look here, We've got the soil stack, so that will come from that toilet. And we've got the various soil stacks upstairs. So if you look at the networks here, we've obviously got a toilet in this bathroom, an ensuite. We've got a toilet in that bathroom, an ensuite. And then if you go all the way up as well, that's the side where there's um, a bathroom up there as well. So obviously all the soil stacks link in together and then they've done a bit of groundwork here to bring it all in and down and into the main drain. So, I don't know if you're interested in poo, but <laughs> um, I think it's fairly interesting. Um, so yeah, obviously that's a major consideration when you're doing a refurb. You've got to make sure that all your drainage and all your soil stacks run, you know, and you can get it all out and all that sort of stuff. And you can see how, like, they're the different covers and stuff. So you put it to the ground. So coming in, um, this on suites had electrical work done and all that sort of stuff, and you can literally see now, um, all the electric, all the wires, all along the ceiling and stuff like that. Um, there's not nothing really major that's happened in these sort of bedrooms down here, so I probably won't bore you it's with that. It's all invisible work, it's all the cabling and... Cabling and that sort of stuff. Here, Alicia's had this structure built to make better use of this space. So we can put the massive cylinder here, um, and then you can see all the pipe works here, so it just uses better space. There's a couple that goes all the way down. Um, but this is a better solution than having to use the lounge space for that. So what we were gonna have to put the boiler over it, so we've, we've cornered off this little section here, but it's better than taking up like this whole chunk. Um, so so again, the boiler has to go on an external wall, it's like it can't go in oh yeah. that cupboard outside. Cool. It has to go on this one. <clears throat> and then uh, nothing much to show you here, but this is from the outside, it'll be like the main, this is like the lounge into the kitchen diner, all your units and all that sort of stuff, so that'd be quite good. Um, but coming upstairs, Uh, major the major changes up here so we've had all the plasterboards gone on um, which has definitely changed the whole thing um, this is easy to come around and show you <laughs> yeah it's looking like the cupboards looking it's just looking like a proper house we always say it but, uh, well, it's you looking can just different. see how it looks like rooms now rather than yeah. floors uh, nothing really has changed here. Well, I mean, actually, it's probably worth showing you this. Do you remember in that? I think it's the last vlog we were saying about L shape in this. You see how this has now become the cupboard next door, but it's still a big on suite. Like, that's what I mean. It's a big on suite, so it's, it's worth taking space from it. Um, and so, this bedroom now, the door's here, the door's here, and then that's now its built in cupboard, so it just, yeah, saved a load of space, which is good. And a little on suite. The windows are now being, the holes have been put in. Oh yeah, windows are there. Now to see where the window's going to be. Um, and then this final bedroom here. Again, this is like always the biggest bedroom, or quite a big bedroom. En suite and stuff like that, it's all boarded. You can see here, like a little skylight. Looking out here, see there's a roof for that. And then this is what this has just surprised us. Coming up to here, having it passed has made such a difference. And I don't know if it's because we've now got those unboarded and you can see the light and stuff like that, but it just feels big. I was worried that the ceiling height would make it feel like very enclosed, but it really doesn't. 
So these are really nice. What do you want to call them? Mini bed sets, so to speak. On the street. And this one's going to have a kitchenette in it. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. So it's just been plastered a bit. It's looking really good. Looking really good. Um, so that's a quick little update. Uh, progress is going well. I think we're going to be getting a schedule of work so we can sort of start uh, finalising it. Because I think we've got about 45 rooms now in Crawley. Um, and I think by the end of the day, all of them will be gone. So I've got even more people inquiring. So I need room so I can start saying, you know, right, this project's going to be finished by this time and da 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 da. And trying to sort of like, yeah, get people ready for like filling this as soon as possible. But yeah, it works going really well. Um, you can see it's like starting to take shape. Um, and I'll see you maybe in a couple of weeks or something. Uh, see you later. Bye. <laughs>